Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Black Magus, and this is a really quick car video on a fucked up rainy day. Um, just got to work, of course, I'm 10, 15 minutes early, so I just wanted to do a quick video. Uh, so, weekend's through, and we made it, people. Um, for all of us who weren't looking forward to this weekend, as we have just transferred our, um, nation's leadership to Donald J. Trump, who is now not the president-elect. He is the president of the United States of America. Um, and that's upsetting a lot of us. Uh, you know, namely for me, it's just sad that someone who used such divisive talk could be elevated to that level of power which makes me feel bad because it makes me realize that you know as far as we've come in some areas we still haven't come that far as a whole especially in this country um and it's even more sad when we think about the fact that this is more of a global um world than it's ever been globalization is something that is serious and that is real and that is happening um and it's such a shame that here in the United States and also in the UK, you know, sorry to anybody who watches who's from the United Kingdom. But that Brexit thing, um, the talk that the current um, ruling party in your parliament is, has been saying, it's just fucked up, you know. Um, and yeah, my window's getting foggy because I'm talking. Uh, and my car is off. I probably should have left the defroster on. But anyway, um, but yeah, it's like fucked up. And it's funny because I was, um, reading something. Uh, I was reading an article that was talking about the tone of, um, Europe right now with Donald Trump being in charge and how a lot of leaders are skeptical. Some are trying to be as hopeful as possible. Um, you know, Britain's all for it. Uh, but... Overall, a lot of people feel like, and this is the weird thing, a lot of people feel like Germany um, with, uh, what's her name, Merkel? And forgive me if I get her name wrong, if you're German. Um, but their chancellor, they call her the last like defense of the Western civilization as far as um, globalization and certain um, points of democracy is concerned. Which is fucking weird as fuck. Because we're talking about Germany, people. The place that, um... It was... Probably... The most destructive nation... In the world. It, no, no doubts about it. It was the most destructive nation in the world. During the 20, um, 20th century. Early 20th century with... World War One, World War Two, Um... But... Times change, and this it, that should tell you something. If things could change in that country, and the you know direction that they've gone in um, can happen, it could still happen here. We can get better. I mean, not saying Germany is probably a perfect place. I'm sure they have a lot of um, problems as well. But you know, hopefully they won't change shift in leadership like we've had here. They. Um, they've had in Britain, hopefully, we will have a much better, um, you know, we will have a much better direction um, in about four years. It's, it was never about liberalism or um, conservatism to me. That guy, he's he's just, he's just not cool. I mean, say what you will about our president-elect, um, he's... <laughs> he's just not right like not the right person for the way that the world has been built and has been going he's not the right person because he's going to probably destroy a lot of good work that previous presidents including Bush have done with creating a more um, global system I mean <laughs> that's crazy it's fucking crazy um, but hey it is what it is We'll get through it. Um, just got to stay at it. But I'll talk about this more 
I think my boss is here, so I'm going to head on out as always. You guys feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you later. This is your boy Black Makers in the Mouth. Deuces.